Welcome to Bougie Behavior with me, Cicely Renee, aka the Bougie Black Blogger, where we talk about life, love, and everything above. Let's get started. So, you guys, are, you guys are so dope. First of all, I thank you for just blessing us with all your talent and just being bold. How do you guys do it? Well, I pray a lot. Yeah. I thank God for everything that he's given me, and I have very strong faith in him, so I feel like that leads me the right way. That's right. Awesome. I think that, you know, um, the path that we're on is really great, and we've been doing so many awesome things, so I feel that this is, you know, what we're meant to be, so it feels, you know, it feels pretty trustable to be in this, in this line of work, so I feel like I kind of just go with the flow. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, you guys um, have a lot in common. Y'all sing, y'all act, and y'all just amazing. So tell me a little bit about your like music. I know you just released this song, right. and then you have an EP. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm going to let you go first. Okay. Yours is most recent. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I just dropped my single, um, Skin I'm In, um, and that just got exclusively debuted on Billboard, and now it's out today on Spotify and all music platforms. Um, so that's really awesome, and it's basically about just loving yourself just the way that you are. Awesome. Yeah, and I have an EP out. It's been out for like a month now. Um, the name of it is Shine. It has four songs on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also have a few singles out. Um, one of them is Keep in Touch. The other is My Name, and I'm working on music currently. Oh, awesome, awesome. Um, so tell me about your part in The Lion King. Well, mm -hmm. I'm Simba in The Lion King. Mm -hmm. She is Nala. She's <laughs> Nala. Um, and we're the young versions of them. Uh, yeah, she yeah. grows up to be Beyonce. We're, we're <laughs> and, uh, you know, Simba and Nala are best friends, and it was awesome playing these roles just because, you know, we already have a great connection. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just like putting us on camera the whole time for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so. It's awesome. We had such a great time recording this movie, um, and we can't wait for it to finally come out. <laughs> so if you guys could choose another character to be or play, wh who would you choose and why? Timon. I w yeah. Mm. Wait, you know? Yeah. Timon. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I got to think about it. I, I think I'm thinking Timon, feeling Scar. Feeling I'm Puma. feeling Shenzi. Oh. Feeling Shenzi, she was really scary. You, she was. I don't think you were there, were you? I wasn't there when you guys were recording, but she was terrifying she was, on Yeah, screen. she was scary, man. It, was, it wasn't cool. She's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. So who was your favorite person to work with behind the scenes? Um, probably her. Yeah, because yeah, I've only worked with JD. Um, my scenes were only with him, so okay. that was like, that was kind of it. It was kind of quick and painless, right. the recording yeah. process. So I love that. Um, and now we finally get to see it on screen. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yes. And you've already seen it, I'm assuming. Yes, we have. Yes, we saw it at the premiere. Just saw it. in comparison to the old movie. It was super cool. Yeah. And I amazing. think they really brought it to a new level. Mr. Favreau yeah. has great graphics on it. It really looks like you're there. It really yeah. feels like you're there. You can feel like you're in the savannah. And yeah. It's really awesome. It really awesome. does. It's amazing. So I, I can't wait for everybody to see this and make art and, you know, do whatever and just show everybody that this is going to be like the best film ever. <laughs> right. It was beautiful. I know I'm like, like the mouse in the beginning. I was like, oh, I was about real? to cry because <laughs> I know what happens to the mouse. Um, on Broadway, he actually gets eaten. But I knew what was going to happen, and like the happy music stopped, and it just got really sad from yeah. there. Oh, <laughs> poor, poor mouse. Young Nala too. On yes. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. So real quick, I am a school teacher, and I have I love education. So how do you guys balance, you know, education and the fab life here? I mean, well, you have to, mm -hmm. you know, because you have to keep up with your grades to keep acting. Right. I mean, because, you know, with your work permit, you have to have a certain average, a grade point average, to keep up with it. Um, so without that, you just can't work. So that's how I keep up with it, and that's how I have my determination to keep acting. So I, I keep up with my schoolwork, like, a lot. Yeah, it's, it's actually not too bad, because I'm homeschooled. She goes to I go to regular school, a performing yeah. arts mm -hmm. school. Yes. 
Yeah, um, but I'm homeschooled and it's pretty easy to juggle them. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I made a juggle thing. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's pretty easy to juggle yeah, them um, because great. you have a lot more freedom. You can take off days. Right. right. It's awesome yeah. that my school is so flexible as well. You know, my, my principal allows me to take off days or when I have to be in Dallas or yeah. LA or wherever. You know, they're very, very flexible. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Talk. Thank you so much. Meet you. Meeting you. Awesome. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Keep Thank you so Thank much. You. you too. Awesome.